Hey everybody, it is Erin. I have a plethora of stuff I just got from the Pinners Conference. Now, I went there as a vendor this year. A little different from how I went last year. Last year I went just as a customer, went there, did classes. I didn't go to any classes this year because I was standing in a booth. I was there with Renia foiled paper. And this is the foil paper and we had our booth and we were, it was, it was lots of fun. If you get my little horse right now, it's because I did a lot of talking while I was there. So that was the booth I was with and this is all the fun stuff. I'm going to take you step by step into all the different fun things. I'm going to get some of the big things first. But just to show you first, we were, here's my exhibitor badge. I did get a chance to get a, um, a punch card to go classes, but I never had a chance to actually leave the booth. It was crazy busy there, but that was great. It was good. I mean, it was a good show. So that was my little exhibitor's badge thing that I got. Um, there was also kind of a booth that was out in the area. It was like the VIP lounge. VIP is like an, a special badge that you get. And there's a couple other things that I actually, somebody gave me from their VIP bag. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. But so um, Stride e-commerce marketing simplified was there and they had water, Coke and diet Coke. And then they also gave me this, which what's in here is the same thing. I can find it was in here. They were giving out to the vendors because all of us have our phones and we may not have power. And so they were giving out little bitty chargers for our cell phones so we could do quick charges. Or it could be for a tablet or whatever else. I mean, it's just a charging station. And he actually ended up giving me three. Um, it seems like every time I went in there to get another, I just refilled my water bottle and he kept on handing it to me and he kept on handing me all these things. So I was trying to pass them out to the other people in my booth, but nobody really needed it. So I brought them home for me and my kids and my husband. So Thank you. That was from Stride. Another booth that came around and they were passing these out. This is called the Happy Yappy Crafters. And I just love this. Crafters going to craft. I mean, I thought that was kind of cool. I think there's a second one in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So they, we ended up getting a couple of these with some straw. And it just, they were kind of cool, little koozie. They passed this out, which is kind of fun. All right, Tandy Leather was there. They were one of the big, big sponsors, and this is the make and take that you did with them. They had a whole bunch of stuff that was all about leather crafting in terms of different kinds of products, um, keychains, uh, purses, anything that you could actually, they give you the raw leather or a kit, and you make it down to stamping on the leather, which I think is amazing. It's kind of fun, so I just, I kind of had some fun doing some really different stamps. The heart one I had a hard time with, but the other one stamped beautifully, and it just, is a little kind of a cuff bracelet, of which I thought I'd give to my daughter or to me. I mean, it's just a little cuff bracelet, which I thought was kind of fun. See, um, it's been sitting in the bag, so it got a little warped. But she said if it gets kind of warped and just it doesn't just re-wet it and lay it flat and it'll dry and it'll work great because I had to wet it to actually stamp on it. So this was a bag they were giving out to everybody. So you had a free bag that you could actually put your purchases in, which was fantastic. So this is Tandy Leather. And then because they were a sponsor, this bag right here, I'm just going to get some more stuff out of the way so you guys can see all the cool things. Um, this bag right here was what they gave to the vendor or all to the VIP and it was full of stuff of which um, my Renia, the company I was there with, we put a little fun little swag item in there as well. So I don't know everything that was in this bag, but as you can see, here's the straps from Tandy Leather and it's a nice bag. I mean, it's just, it's a nice bag in general. I love the little, and these pop off, which I think is kind of cool. And so I'm not going to do it right now, but they do pop off. And then one of the other vendors, if you were an exhibitor, not exhibitor, if you were a presenter, if you actually taught a class, which we didn't do that this year. So if you taught a class, you also got a bag full of swag for helping out for teaching a class. And one of the other presenters that was a couple of booths down, she didn't want her bag. And I was like, oh, can I have it? And so she gave it to me. She pulled out what she already wanted, but there's a few things left in there. So that was kind of fun. So that is what this is from. Nice bag. And then I also picked up a Michael, Michael's bag. They were passing these out randomly. And inside was a little fun gift. And this is a silicone watch in pink with some fun sparkles and stuff. And it's just, it's from Darius and it's just, it's cute. I thought it was kind of fun. It says age 15 plus and who knows if it was blue, I would so give it to my son, but it is pink and I don't think he's going to want a pink sparkly watch. <laughs> So that's okay. I'll figure out something fun to do with this. So that came from Michael's and the fun watch.
And then also in one of the bags, um, because Tandy Leather, again, was there, they, they like to pass out. And this is some of the stuff they like to do. So they were actually doing this at the show um, to show you how to make this little cuff. And they have them in different colors. And they're telling you that you can also paint. And they had a station. I didn't get a chance to stop by. I just kind of glanced at it real fast. But you can actually paint the leather. So you can see on here there's some painted pieces, which I think is absolutely fabulous. So look how you can actually paint. Same leather. You, you can stamp on it, meaning like this metal piece, you go smash. I'll have a video of that coming out, you know, but all different fun ways here. This is how they're showing you how you can actually stamp on the leather to make the impressions like on my cuff that you saw. So the main thing is, is they were really trying to show people that leather is not just for gun holsters and things. I mean, there's so many things. I mean, just think about your leather shoes, not like you're going to make a shoe, but they were trying to show you that crafting with leather is not as hard as you think, and you can make some really cool stuff. So that was what Tandy was there for all about. Some other things that were in the swag bag that were for the presenters and for the VIPs, they gave us, um, there was another one of the lanyards, which was nice. I already had one on my tag. Um, PB Fit was there and they gave out a little package. And this is like this peanut butter stuff. I actually love this. So I was really happy to find this back in the bag. She didn't want that. Tombo was there and this is one of their correction tape runners. I'm gonna have to play with this. I don't know. I guess if you make a boo-boo, like if you're writing or something, it'll help correct it. So it's more just, you know, like your old whiteout, but on a correction tape. So this is just for writing on paper and stuff. And it looks like the tape is white. So I'm gonna pop this guy open and see real fast what this little thing is all about. Um, all right, so I'm just going to use the back side. I also picked up a pen from her care, so I'm just going to do a couple of little squiggles. And then I'm guessing this is just a whiteout tape. And yep, that's all it is. It's a correction tape runner. So it's just a little whiteout tape runner from Tombow. So this is called the Mono Air Sip. Oh, here's another Tandy leather pen. A couple of pens I picked up, which are kind of fun. All right, so Michaels was there, and they were doing a couple of make and takes. I did not get a chance to do the pom-pom. This was one of the pom-pom stations, but I do have a video about how the pom-pom thing works. So, But they had an extra one laying around when everybody was cleaning up, and I saw it laying on the floor, and I was like, do you mind if I grab one? I didn't get a chance to make it. She's like, yeah, sure. And I thought it was kind of pretty. So I also wanted to pick one up because I have a video on it, and I didn't get a chance to look at one closely. Uh, they also had, and that's what this is right here, and what this is, and what this is, lots of this is, I just said. So Michaels was there, they were doing a bunch of make and takes, and they let me bring a couple of pens home. One of the ones they were doing was called Jane Davenport, these are the color inst uh, from the Color Institute, and that was what I was playing with here, was with a bunch of different colors, so this was from somebody else. Um, it was from a bunch of different colors, and you got to play with, and it's like a water brush, and basically you just, you kind of, you can brush with it, but then you can also put more ink by, and you can add dabs and you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And then they had these pens out later, which are Delusions Paints, which is Diane Reevely. And they're just really, not paints, sorry, these are pens, but they're just really nice, really cool, um, like a gel pen kind of. So these are by Ranger, and I don't know if they're truly a gel pen, but they were showing people how to play, and then they put out just watercolor paper, and then they put out some papers that were really kind of fun. This was a whole stack of them, and they were different. So they said, yeah, take one, go home, have fun. I was like, okay, that sounds great. And then they also had a way for like a full calligraphy using these pens because the brush allows you to go up and down so it was a way for you to practice you could go over this with a pen or pencil or something and this was one that was already been played on I mean it got a little people were messing with it already um, but it was a way to kind of practice doing lettering lettering was a big deal at this conference I found it was actually you know there was a lot of people doing lettering which I thought was kind of fun so um, a couple of other companies that were there that were doing letter was Tombow, which is where this came from. And that's what this massive bag is. So let's go ahead and pull this out. I mean, take a look at that. These were all the pens they were using actually on the show floor. So they opened up some of the packages and they let you play with them and you could practice doing different kinds of drawings and things. And I have a couple of friends that work at Tombow that were all designers and we all kind of know each other from just being around. And um, Beth Watson and Jenny Garcia are there. And at the end, I went over and I dropped off some of our Rinia foil for them to play with. And they said, do you want to take any of the pens that we were using? So they might dry out pretty quick, but if you want any of them, go for it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take some. I actually sat there and I'm not a freehand drawer. And this is just me being silly. And I just really quickly wanted to do it. So she was trying. Beth was teaching me how to draw Zinnia. Hers were a bajillion times better. And I do have a video about what they were doing and some quick tips about drawing and stuff. 
Um, and then doing vines and my vines suck. But really cool technique. Just want to show you real fast. So she was teaching me um, how to do the leaves. So she said, draw, draw your vine. So pretend you're doing a vine. I'm going to completely ruin my viney thing. But draw your vine. And then to quickly do a leaf, because these pens, they have a brush tip. And you can see they're kind of flexible. You can take your brush tip and the tip end, the pointy end, put on your vine and then smash it down. And it looks like a leaf. And she goes, it's a really easy way to get a leaf shape. And you just kind of go down and just smash it. And kind of, you kind of have to hold it at an angle. And I didn't do a very good job on the first ones. But you see, it, they look like little leaves. And you can do small leaves. Or you can do big leaves, depending on how much you smash it down. So you kind of hold it sideways. And that was one of the fun tips that I learned. So I this was me really quickly. And the red dots are like berries. Hers was so much better. Because she does this, she loves. She does a lot of drawing. I don't do a lot of drawing, but now that I have the pens, and then they also gave me um, these erasers because there are some pencils in here, and, and she had like four or five erasers. She goes, you know what? Take one, give each one to your kid, and these are some of the best erasers out there. It's better than the pink ones because they wipe so clean. So this is in pencil, and just look, look how clean that came off. I mean, that is amazing how clean, and I do use pencil, and sometimes I want to erase, so I'm keeping a couple for myself, and then she said, give one to each of your kids. Oh, this is a new one. I'll keep that. <laughs> but there's actually quite a bit in here, so it's a really, and they call it a plastic eraser because it is made of plastic, but it erasers, erases beautifully. So some of the other types of pens, so there's a whole bunch, and you know, because she said these are the ones that were on the show floor, there's a whole bunch of the same color, and I might pass these along, so you never know. If you get a pen in your in your um if I give away a, like a swag bag or like a wrap kind of thing it's because I don't need three of the light blue I can always pass these on to other people and so these are all the dual brush pens so I showed you one of the dual brush which was the green and on the other side is kind of a fine tip so you can write you can draw you can do water coloring with these there's a lot you can do with this the one that's got the clear top is the blender tool. So you can actually come in and you can blend with it, which is pretty fun. There's lots of fun stuff that you can do with that. Um, so I got a whole bunch of those. I mean, that's what majority of the pens were, are these mono brush pens. And some of these colors I don't have, which is fantastic. I have some bright tones, but I love some of these muted colors. So I was really happy to get some other colors. But again, I got a lot, <laughs> I got a lot of similar colors, which is cool. I'll be passing them along to all of you guys. All right, this is one they were actually passing out as we were walking around, and I, I picked up one of them. I don't see any. Oh, here's another twin tone. Ooh, good. I got some good black ones. So these are the twin tone pens. These are new. It's a Tombow twin tone. And on one side is two different tips. So we have a very fine tip. And then on the other side is a little bit of a bigger tip. And she said, these ones have come out specifically for the planners, and I have a nice black one. I'm always looking for a good black pen. So here's a black. Ooh, that's nice. And then here is the other side. And obviously, since you've got two sides to it, it's running off of the same um, inkwell. So a couple of new, and they had a whole bunch of colors. They were passing uh, pink out at one time. They were passing out. And just think about all the multi-tones of colors here. You have a ton of colors for these guys as well. Then they also have these pencils. This is a high quality Tombow mono pencil. And you know, it's just, it's a good pencil. It's used for, if you're gonna do any kind of um, charcoal, not, yeah, be kind of like charcoal or if you're doing pencil art. So it's a high position for drafting. So this isn't like your typical number two pencil. This is actually a high quality, very good. If you're gonna do some really good pencil art, this is the kind of pencil you're gonna want. So I got to, she gave me one of those. And then these guys right here, and I'm sure there's a name for them. And it's, these are all in Japanese and there was a name for them. And I cannot remember what the name was. It's a calligraphy pen. These are all calligraphy pens. And I think some of them are the same. Some of them have a different width. So for instance, I can just read, this one says 0.8 millimeters. So pull my little paper out here again. And so this one's pretty big so again nice black pens i'm getting some nice black pens there is another tip on this side which is much finer so i love the fact that they always put a two sides to their pen which is great um this one doesn't this one has a single but again it's a calligraphy pen so see how you can kind of get that i'm not a calligraphy maybe i can learn now that i have the pens here is another one um another calligraphy pen they had a special name and i just cannot remember so look see you can really get into that special writing. Yeah, these, these four are all the same. 
So these four exactly are the same pen. This one is the twin tone. This one is a little bit different. I'm not sure this is just, it's called a mono, a part of it got rubbed off. It's like a monotone. People were using them, so they got a little bit rubbed off. And then this guy is a little bit different too. It's a, if you look, it's a little bit of a different color. So I don't know, let me try this one real fast. I think it's just a different type of pen nut. The nib is a little different, but if you don't want to go and spend a lot of money on super calligraphy type pens, this could be the option that you do is one of these two. And I think they're in a set. And like, again, there was some special name for it, but I don't remember, but I can look it up, but they just say, they say calligraphy pen. And then it's got a number on it. So this one says WSBH150 and this says WSBS150, which is why these are different. And I'm not sure what the coding means. We were so busy trying to clean up and she was like, just take them real fast. Cause I think they were just going to throw them in the trash, which is fantastic. You know, so I got them instead. Yay. I, this was a booth that was just right around the corner from us. It was called West and Arrow and they whole, whole, had a whole bunch of little baby stuff, but I loved it just because it was the craft with the writing on it. And I just thought you're pretty darn awesome for supporting a small business. Thank you. And I, I just liked the pretty darn awesome. And I thought maybe I could cut this out and it was on a really nice craft paper and I love the writing on it. And I just grabbed it because I thought it was really cool. So, um, not, I'm not into baby blankets and stuff. My youngest is five, so I'm really kind of out of the baby phase, but I liked it for just the look of it. So that's why I grabbed that. It's very much just a visual kind of a thing. Happy Planner was there and um, they were doing more in terms of let's show you what the stuff is. And I do have a video about some of the new products they have out and they were giving away a fun sticker. I am a Happy Planner, which I thought was pretty fun. So that was something fun that they were passing out. And I, you know, every time I walk by, I'm like, can I have another one? She's like, yeah, sure, go for it. So I got an I am a Happy Planner sticker. Some other fun things that were in my swag bag. This booth was hilarious. So they had, it's called Snark City. And the best one was a nail file. And it, it had some language on it. A lot of their stuff had some language on it. But it was so funny. And it was playing off with the fact that, I think it said, I am... I need sex daily. No, I'm dyslexic. And then it was an expletive and it was just really, but it was all misspelled funny and it was just, they were hilarious. So this product is rated S for sarcastic and snarky. It's intended for a mature audience as an easily offended should be advised, which is true because half their stuff had swear words on it, but it was so hilarious. So this one says, please make the stupid people shut up. I mean, that just kind of gives you the snarky idea. And this is obviously a keychain. So I love the fact that they were just playing on snark. I'm seeing if there's anything on the other side and it's not. So they just gave everybody a little keychain. This was in the presenter slash VIP bag. And I guess they just didn't want it. So the person who gave me the bag, I got it though. So woohoo. Um, another thing that was in my bag, and this was, they were actually doing microblading there at the, at the show, which I thought was kind of weird. And it says, when you get your compliment on your best feeling ever. So they were doing, keep in mind, pinners is not just about crafty stuff. It was also about home decor. It was about, uh, beauty, food, um, how to take good pictures, all kinds of things. So this, I haven't even opened this yet. This is a bag. It looks like, yeah, no. So this is a bag. So it's just an easy bag that you can roll up and I guess keep on your keychain or keep in your in your car in case you need it real fast. So, you know, never know if you're going to go shopping. And in Austin, they actually don't give you plastic bags. If you don't have a bag, you have to buy a reusable bag. They've discontinued the use of plastic bags across the board. So having something like this in your car as a just, I mean, and we're not talking about grocery stores. We're talking about every store, even fast food places. They cannot give you plastic bags. It's just, they don't allow that. Paper bags are okay because they decompose, but not a plastic bag. So just having something small like this, I think they kind of thought ahead on that. And I just wish more cities would kind of get on board with the whole plastic bag thing. So I guess you could just hang this, you know, wherever you wanted to. So that came from them. Another one that was in the, the, swag bag was this little book. It's just a little micro book, you know, a little planner micro book. And this is if found, please return to. And this one came from Carrie Ellie. And I met her last year and I actually did a little booth tour of her booth last year. And, um, she's got a whole bunch of online printable stuff and I've actually got her principal things, which are pretty fun, but now she also has some pre-made things. So this is just a little travel journal and it's sewn on the side and it's got little texts. So she made these all, these are pretty heavy vinyl on the outside. It feels like vinyl, but it's, it's a little bit a thicker cardstock. And so if you want to check out her stuff, she's shop .com. I didn't get a chance to swing, but every time I swung by her booth, either I was busy trying to get to the next place or I was, um, um, 
her booth was packed and I didn't get a chance to see her because she was busy. So, but she has a ton of stuff and it's not just like daily planner. She has like meal planner. She has planners for planning out your vacation. She's got like money saving planners. So if anything that you would want fitness planners, anything that you would want to plan and even just daily calendars, that's all the things that you can do. Um, another one that was Michael's, this is kind of funny. I think I have a digital image of this too. And I was just joking around the guy who owns the station, which is called plush photo booth. He was there last year and he is an absolute riot. And, um, he was kind of stuck and tethered to his station the whole time. Cause he's a vendor. And last year I was walking around as just a buyer basically. And, you know, trying to see what was going on. And, um, in the VIP lounge they had last year, they had bananas. And so I grabbed him a banana because he looked like he was just, you know, kind of on his death's door with his feet because he was kind of alone in his booth doing all the photo ops. And so I bumped into him again this year doing the photo stuff. And he remembered who I was. And every time I came by, I said hi. And he said, come up there. And then he was joking because I was doing silly photos. And he had a whole bunch of props. Last year was all autumn theme for the background. This year was all Christmas. And then I did one where it was like Santa. I was like, oh, you know, pretending like I was doing something naughty. And he like, oh, that's a funny pose. Nobody's ever done that before. And I said, you got to be kidding me. He goes, yeah, I am. Everybody does that. <laughs> So I am not unique in any way, shape or form about how I posed in my photo, but it was just something kind of cute and fun and silly and, you know, getting me to have a picture while I was there. So that's that. Um, another thing that was in here and I never got a chance to go by and pick it up because I actually got the bag after the, after the show closed and everybody was, she's like, I don't want to take this. I got to fly home and I don't want to take this with me. And can you, do you want to take the bag? And she didn't want to go pick up the paint and it's too bad because I would have gone to pick up the paint. It's a Monticello chalk paint and they had some really cool colors. I actually did a video of them last year and like some of their color names like serendipity and cherish and they just had fun names with it. So she gave a little wooden piece and then say, come by and pick up your paint. And I would have done it had I gotten this earlier, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, Project Life was there with Becky Higgins or Becky Higgins with Project Life. It kind of goes hand in hand. They were there and they weren't really doing anything beyond make and takes. Make and takes this year were pretty limited. There were not very many booths that were doing a make and take. Tombo did one. Michaels did one. Renia did one. We did one. But a lot of the other ones were just come to come take a look and come by, not physically do anything. Compared to last year, there was a bajillion make and takes. It was awesome. So this one just says, I am Project Life. And we got like a little band. A lot of people are going to candy. I didn't grab a whole lot of candy. I got one from Tan leather. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'll give it to one of my kids. Um, her care was there again this year, which I got a bunch of stuff and it was all literally about caring for the her, meaning her as in women and so breast and pap smears and just making sure that you're going to get yourself medically checked in that, you know, it's, it's a female whole care center and they'll come take care of all your wellness needs for being a woman. So that's what they were really supporting and being a part of. Maya Road was there and they were doing a fun little make and take on the evening of, and I actually got a chance to go a little booth tour of Maya Road as well. And I met Caroline and she is super sweet and she's the owner and she does a lot of the designs and she was there in person, which I think is fantabulous. So they were doing a little make and take at the VIP event and she gave me an extra one. And this one was a little photograph. So she does a lot of wood pieces and she does some metals and stuff. And so it was a fun chance to kind of do a little, something. And so it was, I think she had some sprays and stuff so you could paint the metal piece and then you got to make a little necklace. So I thought that was fun. And since this is kind of masculine and I already got something else for my other kid, I thought that I would give this to my middle son. My oldest son, he could kind of care less about most of the stuff. I thought I would give him one of those charger things for his tablet. That way he could take it to school and charge it from school. Um, another company was there and this one's called We've Got Mail, but this one is from a company that was kind of around the corner from us. And I got a video of them doing a different make and take, but this was all they had, they pulled out, I want to say like six or seven make and takes and they just dumped it out. When it was gone, it was gone. They kind of rotated about every two hours. And so therefore, if you swung by at a different time, you got a chance to do a different make and take. They were doing um, this, this necklace here. So this one I'm going to give to my daughter. She'll go nuts over this. And basically what you did is you got the necklace, which is all the, the ribbon and the trim and stuff. And then you got this little chain piece. I got this all kind of, oops, it's all twisted. There we go. Oop, I didn't put that on there very well. I'll have to fix that. So you got this little piece right here. 
And then you got to pick out your charm. So I picked out a C for Catherine. And then you got a jump ring and I need to refix it because my ribbon is not inside my jump ring. So it's not going to work very well. I had the hardest time trying to squeeze the jump ring. It wasn't fitting very well, but I can fix it here. And then I have an extra jump ring right here if I want to use that. And so it was all about, um, a lot of it was jewelry. And it's just a cute little necklace, just something fun, something easy, a little charm. And they had lots of little kits. And they had, um, a lot of it, was like I said, was jewelry based. So they had like the chain mail kind of idea. They also had this. And then the video I have was also about how to stamp onto metal, similar to the leather, but onto metal. And so they had, a, um, we had a little make and take with that one while we were there. So I got a video on that make and take. I didn't get a chance to make one because I was videoing and I needed to get back to my booth. Oh, one last one, my nails. <laughs> right across from us, actually there was two of them. One directly across from us, they were doing lotion. And I got a chance to get lotion and a little hand massage. I can't even remember the name of the lotion company, but it had like aloe in it or something. So that was across from us. And then next to that kind of diagonal from us, because we were on a corner, um, Jamberry was there and they were showing off their new nails. And so this is the one where you paint it on and then you heat set it or like you light set it for about 90, 99 seconds. That was the key. And they had this little light thing that you put your hand in. So you paint. She did two coats and then she added a wrap to the front of my my fingers and they, they were doing it. They were like hotcakes. So she said, because you're a vendor and because you'll come home and you'll probably put on video. She did this at the end of day one. And so I had this for all of day two and people kept commenting because I was doing all of the demos for our product and showing people at what the, and so the, of course my nails were being shown all the time. And so she said, yeah, I'll give you a full manicure. So she said that this particular nail polish, it is a polish, but it sets super fast. So something about it is a little different. Um, she had hers on for like eight days. So there's a very good chance that it will last longer. They were my last little stop and it was something that I didn't get to actually physically bring home, but I did in the way because they're on my nails. Ha -ha. So these are all the fun things I got from my time being there. Some of it from was walking around or because I knew somebody who worked there or because somebody didn't want their swag bag or because I they were giving them out at their booths and stuff. A couple other things that were there that I didn't actually get to bring home, they were like food items. So, I mean, I wasn't going to bring home a, a little sample of a pecan because there was a pecan company there and stuff like that. Um, but beyond that, it was a blast. It's super tiring. It was so very, very long days, but fun and exciting. And I already can't wait to go back again next year. And even if I don't go with a company and work with them, I will go by myself and go have fun on my own. So all the cool stuff that I got from the Texas, which is the Arlington Pinners Conference. And they said they were gonna be back next year, which is 2018 obviously, because this is 2017, they will be back next year. And I think they said the 13th and 14th of September. That was the two days, the actual conference. It always runs on a Friday and a Saturday. And then Thursday night is the VIP event. So if you're a vendor or if you're going to VIP, then it's actually a three day event. And it's like starts like seven o'clock on the Thursday kind of thing. So I will link as much of the fun things as I possibly can of the different companies down below. So make sure you check it out, especially for some of these cool Tombow pens. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.